uh, the first uh, presenter in this, our closing session is Michaela Milene, who's gonna talk about the Ideas Challenge. And I encourage you, the Ideas Challenge is one of the very best parts of Open Repositories. And I really, really, I know Michaela will as well, but um, get into that document, check out ideas, see what's going on. Mick, over to you. Thank you, Leila. And, uh, and, 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 and tell all, uh, whatever the time of, of, of the day it is, I don't know how many of you were, uh, were up uh, last night at 3 a.m. Uh, I wasn't, to be honest, uh, but it's just 3 a.m. for me. So uh, anyway, so this is the last session. And uh, as we started with uh, uh, presenting what happened in the past year for the Ideas Challenge, we want to close um uh this year uh, uh, this conference as well just trying to push uh the engagement uh in in the new virtual uh, year-long ideas channel for the this year as well uh you if you haven't seen it yet uh, i'm sharing uh this in the chat uh there's a link where you can uh, already see ideas generating which is amazing and uh, you'll find already four ideas there. I'm not going to take too long in this presentation. Obviously, if there's anyone who's already uh, added the idea um, uh, to the document, if you want to share it, uh, open it now, uh, you have some minutes to do so. Uh, that document will, uh, will stay where it is for, uh, for, for a few days, maybe a week, maybe two. Uh, in order for you to go there, check, add your ideas, or add your name to the list of, of, um, uh, of, of the teams of the different ideas, if you really like one of, one of the ideas you want to participate in that. Uh, the next phase uh, will be very similar to what we did last year, uh, which is uh, organize another uh, meeting where uh, all the ideas will be uh, pitched uh, to the community. Uh, 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 kind of framed and, and, and the teams will be formed. And once the team uh, are formed, as Thomas very well explained at the beginning of this conference, you'll have the chance uh, to, to meet throughout the year, uh, to chat uh, in, uh, uh, using the Slack channel, to use that document to share uh, 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 comments and then move ahead. And uh, if you create... Um, an idea and you progress on that idea uh, uh, and, uh, and, and you reach a point where you are confident in sharing that with the rest of the community, uh, next year, possibly in person, you'll have the chance to do so at the next OR. Uh, uh, this is the way that we, we thought uh, for, for linking the different conferences and create um, uh, some sort of connections uh, uh, be between the different uh, uh, conferences across the world. Um, uh, as, as I said before, I, I don't want to take too much uh, uh, time because uh, I, I love the ideas to talk more. Uh, so if there's anyone who, who is uh, uh, interested in, in, in sharing a, a bunch of ideas that they're adding to the document, feel free to do so. Uh, if not, uh, once again, the document is there and uh, the Slack channel is there as well. Uh, add your email so I, uh, we can uh, contact you in the next few days uh, to organize the next meeting on that. If you have questions, obviously I'm here to answer. Uh, I'm, I'm on Slack uh, uh, and I'll add also my email just in case uh, you want to reach out. And that's it for me. Thank you very much, Michaeli. And yeah, I encourage you all to put your ideas um, on the um, Google Doc and join the Slack channel and join us in our ideas challenge. So now I'm going to try and share my screen. So while she's setting that up, um, uh, if you don't know her, this Claire Knowles is the um, is university leads, and she's the rising chair of the Open Repositories Steering Committee, and we're very lucky to have her.
is where I realized that um, my Mac doesn't allow me to share screens on Zoom. Let me see if I can. I may need you to share it for me. Let's see if I can do it. Um, Yes, yeah, sorry, Layla, can you share? Because I'm gonna, it's gonna chuck me out if I try to share. It's closing slides. Yeah, just pulling them up. I'm afraid I'm gonna use you as a buzzer and go next slide. Well, Leila's getting those up. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for joining us and in this virtual conference. I know it's not, we'd hope that we'd hope that we'd be able to be meeting in Stellenbosch this year. Huge thanks to everybody who submitted, everybody who reviewed, everybody who came along, be it in strange time zones. Yesterday was a very long day um, for me in the UK. So thank you all for doing that. In, I'm joining in in the chat on Twitter, on the Google Docs, and for our SCED, et cetera, and also joining us on Wonder. So huge thank you um, for everybody for doing that. It's greatly appreciated that you've joined us and made this such a vibrant conference. So yeah, if you could go on, please. Can I progress? Yeah, so once again, just a huge thank you to everybody. And you can go on again later. Um, a big thanks to our programme committee, some of which have been on the programme committee for two years. And yet, yeah, without them, this conference would not happen. Without you submitting and joining us, but the programme committee spending the time putting together the call for papers, doing getting the reviews set up, um, figuring out how to use conf tool and putting the programme together, which has been incredibly complicated doing it this year for all the different time zones. So a huge thanks to everybody on the programme committee without who we wouldn't have this conference. Next slide. And once again, a big, big thanks to our programme co-chairs. You and Layla sort of ended up signing up for two years for one um, with what happened with COVID and the fact that we went virtual last year and virtual again this year. So a huge thanks to them. And also Liz for joining them in planning this conference. It is a huge amount of work that they do and they volunteer to do to make this happen on all the logistics of doing this as a full virtual conference. So a huge thanks to Liz, Arena and Layla, who I know you'll have seen throughout the last few days coordinating everything. This year we haven't had a physical host. So we had a virtual host committee to do all those sort of things that usually the, virtual, the physical hosts do. And so we've had five people stand up from our steering committee to do that. So Catherine, a huge thanks to Catherine, who's helped with the networking and playing with lots of tools and setting up Wonder and experimenting with that. To John, who's led on the sponsorship and helped us with that and coordinating that. Jessica and David, who's done loads of work on our WordPress site and updating that and working with Liz, Arena and Layla to get things up to date. And to Sarah, who's our chair of the steering committee, who's coordinated everything and kept us on track as we go and June got closer and closer. So a huge thanks to all eight of them for making this happen. Can you buzz me on? And once again, we're really grateful to our sponsors for helping support us and to make this a free conference, which is shown by the number of um, signups that we had and how we had to keep extending the event right. So to For Science, Atmire, Casey, the Library Code, My Science Work and Zanvira, thank you for supporting us to make this happen over the last few days. And also thanks to our technical um, sponsors who Zooms we've used to get by and Clear who help us and with the WordPress, etc. So huge thanks to everybody for those for making this happen and supporting us with all these different tools that we've joined together. Um, a big thanks to the Standing Steering Committee. So these are the people who meet month in, month out um, to look after open repositories and to take us forward with this. So a huge thanks to them. Lots of whose names you will have seen elsewhere because they've stepped up 
and helped in the hosts and programme committee and everything like that, and also um, our chairs. So thank you to everybody on the standing steering committee. And we have some changes this year. So John and Yiki are standing down. Big thanks to them. Um, John was very much instrumental in um, Indy when we were there in 2015, and Yiki in Helsinki in 2014. Their um, experience and contribution is going to be greatly missed, but we're hoping that we can still um, get their information. They're only at the end of an email, which I know. So we're hoping that they will also be supporting us as we go forward, but huge thanks to them for helping us over the number of years that they've been involved. Um, big, big thanks to Sarah Shreves, who's stepping down at the end of her term as chair. It's been an interesting time for Sarah as chair and myself as her vice chair, um, in that the last two conferences have been virtual. And yeah, so it's been a big change for us making this work and making sure that we could all still get together on an annual basis. So huge thank you to Sarah, who will be staying on the steering committee for a wee while. So we were not losing all her experience. And when I went back to find out when Sarah had joined the steering committee, I was going back through many, many years of minutes. Um, I will be stepping into the chair role of the steering committee and welcoming Torsten Reimer from the British Library as vice chair. So we're very looking forward to taking us forward and learning from this experience that we've had of doing these virtual conferences as we move forward to next year. We are now looking for two people to join the steering committee. Nominations will open next week, so please keep an eye on the Open Repositories website and we'll be sharing the form for that. You have until end of July to submit your nominations or submit nominations of others who you would like to nominate. The elections will take place in August and new members will join the steering committee in September. If you want to find out more, please pop me an email or Torsten and um, you'll find us on Twitter as well if you want to drop me a direct message and we can tell you more about that. And there's lots of information on our website. Leila, can you move me on? I also want to thank our hosts at Stellenbosch. We wished we'd been there last year and again this year. And a huge thank you to Ellen and Mimi at Stellenbosch for working with us and the open conversations we've had and about planning and looking at scenarios. You know, we really wished we could be there last year when we postponed to this year our meeting in Stellenbosch. We thought we would all be there this summer. So a huge thank you to them for working with us and agreeing to postpone yet again to 2023 when we will be in Stellenbosch, South Africa, um, I hope. So huge thank you to them. And we do hope that we will all be in Stellenbosch in 2023. Leila, can you? And now I'm going to hand you over to Andrew Johnson, um, who is representing our hosts for next year's Open Repositories Conference in Denver, Colorado. So, Andrew, I'll hand over to you and please introduce yourself and tell us more. the country is muted. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Great, excellent. So I guess I will share my version of the slides so I can advance them. I'll try at least, let's, let's give that a shot. I can do slides for you, Andrew, if you want to. I can get in the same problem that Claire had. So. Perfect. So yes, uh, as just noted, uh, I'm Andrew Johnson from the University of Colorado Boulder Libraries, here representing uh, the group that originally, um, way back in our previous era of 2019, 
uh, wrote the proposal to host open repositories 2021. So uh, what's happening right now, um, which for obvious reasons it has now been moved back to 2022 and has become open repositories 2022. So we are very uh, excited to serve as the hosts. And I'm going to give kind of my uh, version of a uh, tourist promotional video uh, via slides and a, a little spiel that I wrote. Uh, so next slide, please. So I wanted to start uh, by acknowledging that it's been a long and winding road back to even get to a place where many of us can start thinking about a return to things like in-person conferences. Um, and I'm going to apologize off the bat for the obvious lack of subtlety in my visual metaphors. Um, obviously, this is a literal photo of a long and winding road, so that's about as creative as I get. But this is in, in beautiful Colorado, uh, as will all the, the pictures coming uh, later in this promo. Um, anyway, and in all seriousness, uh, we know that conference travel may still be a way off for a lot of people around the world for a lot of different reasons. Um, but if in-person conferences are in fact on the, next slide please, horizon, see what I'm doing here, what better place to make a triumphant return than, next slide, open repositories 2022 in beautiful and vibrant Denver, Colorado. Um, Next slide, please. OR 2022 in Denver will be hosted by the Colorado Alliance of Research Libraries, a nonprofit consortium of 16 libraries in the states of Colorado and Wyoming, um, including several large research libraries, a mix of public and private universities, and one public library as well. Uh, next slide, please. If, we're, if you're unfamiliar, uh, Denver is one of the major hubs of the US Mountain West region with world-class amenities and attractions makes a fantastic launching off point for trips throughout the American West, or even you know, via relatively short flights to basically anywhere in North America. Uh, Denver International Airport is one of the most centrally located major airports in the country with 20 plus airlines flying to and from more than 200 domestic and international destinations. And it's connected conveniently to downtown Denver via light rail and other types of ground transportation, including straight here to uh, Union Station, which houses, houses a hotel, shops, and some great restaurants. Next slide, please. Uh, it goes without saying, I think, that one of the best things about Denver's location is our close proximity to the Rocky Mountains with spectacular outdoor recreational activities, natural beauty, including the amazing Rocky Mountain National Park uh, where this photo was taken, which is just a relatively short drive from the city. Uh, hiking, rock climbing, fly fishing, cycling, mountain biking, zip lining, river rafting, kayaking, wildlife viewing are all within easy drives from Denver in early summer. And if that's not enough, Denver is also a bustling major city with everything one would expect in terms of fantastic restaurants and over 60 craft breweries in the metro area. Next slide, please. We also have great museums like the Denver Art Museum pictured here, the Clifford Still Museum, Museum of Contemporary Art, as well as a number of really family-friendly attractions like the Museum of Nature and Science, the Denver Zoo, and the Denver Botanic Garden. Next slide. And there are also lots of other amazing summer outdoor entertainment options like the famous Red Rocks Amphitheater for live music and uh, Coors Field here where the Colorado Rockies baseball team plays. Uh, the stadium's right downtown. There are lovely mountain views from the stands. So it's a really fun place to spend an evening, even if like me, you're not much of a baseball fan. So as the next slide, please, sun sets on this promo, we want to warmly invite everyone he was able to join us to come see firsthand what Denver and Colorado have to offer in June of 2022. Uh, next slide, please. Bring the family, launch or conclude your Western US or North American adventure here, and we'll see you all at Open Repositories 2022. Thank you, Andrew. You've got great pictures. Um, we hope that we can meet together in person um, in 2022. We will be sending out a survey at the end of the conference to attendees to find out more about your experiences of this year and also um, what you're looking forward to next year and possibles of travel etc. We understand the current situation that we're all in and we're looking forward to finding out more about your expectations for next year as well. Um, Leila Arena, is there anything else you would like to add as we finish the conference? No, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you all and thank you everybody for coming and joining us. It's been a great few days and I wish we could have seen each other in person, 
bit. It's great to get together um, virtually and see so many people being able to join us across the world in many, many different time zones. So thank you all for joining us and I wish you well for the coming year.